What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about what happened on this episode of Monday Night Raw. This is the first Monday Night Raw in a very long time that was two hours. And I enjoyed it. You can definitely tell that the show had to be on a consistent pace. Mainly because the beginning of the show, the first few segments... They were going through them. Like one person would say something, have their promo segment, and then right after that, somebody music would hit, and then they come out, and then right after that, someone else music would hit, and they come out. And we're getting right into matches and, and 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 things that are supposed to happen on the show. I appreciate the pace, having some urgency. We saw the stuff that we needed to see. We didn't see as much of the stuff that we normally don't want to see. And it was a good pace show, and I appreciate that. I like when wrestling shows, for weekly shows, are two hours. I can live with that, man. So, we're going to talk about what happened, the most important stuff that happened on the show tonight. We started it off with CM Punk, and CM Punk was selling the effects of Hell in a Cell as he should. He came out there bandaged up. He was limping. He didn't even walk all the way down to the ring, and... You know, he basically said, look, I'm banged up. I can't even walk all the way down to the ring, but I am banged up right now. I know I should be happy that I won. You know, I know I should be rejoicing that I won, but right now my body's not feeling it. He wanted to thank the fans for supporting him uh, for all these years when he wasn't uh, in wrestling, when he came back to wrestling and he wasn't in WWE. And then when he finally came back, he wanted to thank the fans. Um, he wanted to thank those that hate him, you know, because, <laughs> you, you know, you make good money. You know, we're making good money because you hate me, you know, and it's kind of like a shot at, you know, Drew McIntyre and anybody else because I'm, I'm willing to bet the Drew CM Punk feud has made them some money for sure. It's been a it's been a draw. That entire feud has been a draw. And, you know, he just put it out there that he doesn't know when he's coming back. He he wants to go home finally to his wife that he hasn't seen in like five weeks. And he doesn't know when he's coming back. You know, but he, he's going to rest up and, and take a little bit of a break, which I can appreciate. I like that. Once again, selling the effects of the hell in a cell. They shouldn't be out there next week trying to find their next championship match. No, sell the effects. Have them take some time. They have been the best feud on WWE television since January. Outside of, you know, the rock and everything else, the bloodline stuff, consistently They've been fantastic. Love what they're doing. So, you know, I, I, I it made sense. And before CM Punk and Reeve and really sign off, Seth Rollins' music hit. Seth Rollins comes out there. Well, actually, CM Punk was, you know, pretty much finished what he had to say. He was about to walk off. And then Seth Rollins' music hit. They look at each other, and you already know where this story is going to go. I love this. We're getting right back on track at some point. I don't know when, maybe right around WrestleMania season, these guys are going to, you know, lock right back up. So they were already teasing it. They stood face to face. They don't like each other. I love it. And then Seth either shoulder uh, shoved him, you know, as he walked by, he, you know, shoulder shoved him to the ring. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait for when this feud gets on way. Oh, man. I'm be honest with you. Seth Rollins, CM Punk, WrestleMania. Find a way to make it happen. Fuck it. I, I need to see that match at WrestleMania for sure. Um, so Seth, uh, Seth Rollins walking to the ring, and before he got into his business on why he was out there, he made it very clear. He's like, look, you know, even though I don't like the guy, whatever. Hey, hey, Seth. I'm oh, not Seth. CM Punk. Drew, they killed it out there. Hey, I'm wishing you a speedy recovery, uh, CM Punk. You did your thing out there. You went through hell. And I'm wishing you a speedy recovery. So that way, when you come back, I can beat your ass and retire you once and for all. Love it, man. Love it. Even though Seth is a baby face, he doesn't like 
CM Punk doesn't matter. So he wants Seth, CM Punk to get healthy so he can <laughs> retire him once and for all. Love it, Chef's Kiss. That's how you do it. That's what I want to see. Can't wait to see their feud um, transpire. So, Seth is, you know, after he talked about that, he got serious. And I, I can appreciate that. He wasn't in his flamboyant outfits. He was serious tonight. He even took the glasses off and he, he looked at the camera in the ring. And he was like, oh, you want to make a name for yourself by attacking me. Well, congratulations. You got my attention. I'm going to make you famous. I'm going to give you your 15 minutes of fame. Now, Bronson Reed, I know you're not here, but that's okay. You're watching. So how about this, Bronson? How about me and you have a match? Doesn't matter the time. Doesn't matter the place. Me and you have a match, and I will definitely make you famous. I'm going to give you the attention that you want. And most likely, I can see it possibly happening at crown jewel i think that would be a match that deserves to be on the crown jewel um ple so we will see um what bronson reed has to say about that uh in the upcoming weeks but i do see that being on the ple pay-per-view uh at crown jewel it deserves to be there i think it'll be a fun match so uh seth made it very clear he's calling out bronson reed let's get it going and before he can really finish jay uso's music hit he comes out there because he was supposed to have a match with Kofi, uh, uh, with uh, Xavier for the Intercontinental Championship. So he comes out there. And Seth is in the ring. Seth looks at Jay. They look at each other, and then Seth bows out, and we get ready for the Intercontinental match between Jay Uso and Xavier Woods. So we get the match, and I'm not gonna go into great details into it, but. Uh, you know, Xavier felt really confident in getting the win. Kofi was out there to cheer him on. But ultimately, Xavier goes to the top rope, ends up eating a, a, a beautiful super kick. And then um, Jay goes to the top rope himself, hits his uh, splash off the top rope. And for the one, two, three victory, the match was actually kind of quick. I'm guessing, you know, obviously a two hour format. They didn't really have didn't extend it any more than it needed to be match was very quick uh jay got the win clean and at the end of the match you know kofi's trying to console but he ended up shaking jay's hand obviously they have history history new day and the usos and jay was trying to get xavier to shake his hand but he didn't do it xavier did not want to shake his hand and he was can he was like asking kofi why did you end up shaking his hand like what's wrong with you like, I just lost you shaking his hand. Like, what's wrong with you? And out of nowhere, Braun Breaker attacks Jay Uso, spearing him into oblivion out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Everyone's confused. I'm confused. Then um, I want to say Kofi is like, yo, we got to go in there and help him. We got to help Jay. Xavier didn't want to help him. So Kofi goes in there. He eats a spear for his trouble. Then Xavier ends up getting Kofi out of there. He, he you know, he tries to get uh, Kofi out of there. So then Braun goes to the opposite side of the ring, runs at full speed, and spears Xavier into oblivion himself. Then he gets back in the ring, runs the ropes, and hits Jay with another spear. And we don't know why all of a sudden he attacked him. Because we just recently saw Braun Breaker giving Jay props and showing him respect. And then within a week, week or, or so, he just ends up saying, "Now nah, fuck your respect. I'm coming back for my IC title. Do I have a problem with it? No, I thought that was enjoyable. He swerved us all. He swerved us wrong, swerved us all. And we still don't know. What, what, why? Why did he do that? We may find out soon enough, but I definitely, definitely, definitely enjoyed that. So, we got to talk about, and I'm, I'm going to kind of fast forward here because this was the match I was really in interested in seeing how it was going to play out. The main event between Sammy and Gunther. Now, if Sammy wins, Sammy would ultimately end up facing Cody at Crown Jewel. So, the implications were there. 
And I know a lot of people were worried that Goldberg was going to interfere and cause Sammy to, well, Gunther to lose, which I'm glad that didn't happen because this match was great. Even though they didn't have that much time with outside of commercial breaks and stuff, this was really good. They made you believe that Sammy was actually going to win here again. Towards the end of this match, those false finishes, they made you believe Sammy was going to win. The clothesline, the kick out of that. Then the power bomb, the kick out of that. Then another power bomb, the kick out of that. And one of the the first power bomb he kicked out like at one. And like it was just the multiple kickouts. Well, I, I think it may have been the second power bomb he ended up kicking out at one. And finally, it took Gunther essentially choking him out. And the fact that Sammy uh, hit Gunther with two Aluva kicks and he still kicked out. This was so good, but. Once again, Gunther being the overwhelming force ends up choking out Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn passed out. But this was a really, really, really good match. Good television match. Could have been on a PLE if they wanted to. And they really had us believing that maybe Sami could pull off one of the craziest upsets. Because we just seen recently Jay pulling off an upset on Monday Night Raw not too long ago. So, after that happened... Gunther walks up the ramp. He has his World Heavyweight Championship intact. And Cody was at the show. Cody walks up. You hear his music. And they stare off. And essentially, we're going to get Cody versus Gunther at Crown Jewel. And I'm not going to lie to you. Just to stare off alone was dope to see. Because it's like, man, I, I knew we was going to get this match. I just didn't think it was going to be this soon under this circumstance. Am I excited about this match? Yes. Because essentially, Gunther is, he's the, the final boss right now in WWE. It was Roman and then Gunther. Now, it's essentially Gunther. And I'm not trying to take the moniker of the final boss from like the final boss to rock. But in the sense of the ultimate heel wrestler that any babyface would have to defeat to move on to finish the game. It was Roman. Now it's Gunther, and I, 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 this is going to be a tough one to even predict, but I do see some type of shenanigans that's going to cost uh, Cody, whether it's going to be Kevin Owens or whether it's going to be The Rock that cost him to lose that match to Gunther. I do think Gunther's going to win there, but it won't be a clean win. It will be something will cause him to lose. But either way, it's going to be a great match. I, ah, I can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. Overall, I enjoyed uh, Monday Night Raw. I enjoyed it for what it was. It was quick pace. We had some fun matches. I definitely liked the match between uh, uh, Pete Dunne and Sheamus. That was, that was an enjoyable match. And I, I just liked the Raws just to kind of flow with a pace and a sense of urgency. We show what we need to show. And we kind of cut back on the filler you know and i really do appreciate that and I'm, I'm liking how you know how things were formatted uh this week and i'm looking forward to seeing how things are going to play out next week i know they uh is next week's going to be pre-taped because they're you know doing their european tour so already uh well shout out to the homie cornelius he's the one with the script y'all he already had sent me the script for next week but i told him i don't want to see it so i he deleted the message. I appreciate you. I want to be surprised to see what happens next week. So we will see. But let me know down below. Did you guys enjoy Monday Night Raw tonight? Did you like the two-hour format like it used to be? And also, are you guys excited to see uh, Gunther versus Cody at Crown Jewel? And who do you think should win that match? Appreciate all love support y'all showing on Channel Road 2. 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.